waiting and waiting. And I'll spell them W-A-I-T-I-N-G and W-E-I-G-H-T-I-N-G. And what that means is this. Anytime you prepare to hit a ball, I do not believe it's racket back. I believe it's turn to the side so that if I'm hitting a backhand in this direction and I turn, I'm trying to get my weight, W-E-I-G-H-T, on the back foot. And now, like a batter in baseball, I'm trying to W-A-I-T on the pitch. And the most common error I see in tennis is people prepare by stepping forward so that when waiting W-A-I-T, their W-E-I-G-H-T is forward. The art of this game is to get as much weight as possible back as soon as possible. And then really, this pause, this waiting when weighted, is all about a big hit. And as we watch tennis on TV, pros or players next to you, players that are rushed are slow to get their weight back. And when their weight is not back, they cannot wait. But players that are well-trained, or the pros, are instantly waiting for the ball while weighted. Now here's your task. Here's the way to know if you're doing it. Next time you're on the court and somebody hits the ball very quickly at you and it hits the top of the net, it was halfway across the court. You should have seen forehand or backhand, but you wouldn't have seen it was going to hit the tape. Most people at that moment are still facing the net. Terrible. Others have their hands up. Worse. In that amount of time, start to note where you are and when it feels like you've gotten to this spot, waiting and waited, you know you're preparing sooner. The game is about preparing. The game is about making time for yourself. The game is about knowing how to wait when waited. A lot of W's, a lot of spelling. This stuff works.